Hey, my name is Phil with LegitMarketingReviews.com and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at a social media marketing platform called Socialmonials. Now, in the Socialmonials review, I wanna show you exactly what Socialmonials is, how it actually works, and by the end of this video, you should know if it's right for you. And just to let you know, if you're thinking about getting started with Socialmonials, I have left a link in the description. If you go ahead and use that, you'll also be helping support this channel. So first of all, what is Socialmonials? Like I mentioned earlier, it is a social media marketing platform, but they do focus a lot on viral marketing, which means basically you can actually grow your business and your presence really big by using viral competitions and giveaways, but they are also a social media scheduling and posting platform, so you can actually schedule all of your social media posts across all of the different platforms, and yes, it does include Instagram, so it is very nice, and one thing I absolutely love about it is you can actually schedule posts from your phone. So what I'm going to do right now is actually jump behind the screen and show you Socialmonials. Okay, so here we are on the Socialmonials website. First of all, I'm just going to run through some of the features on Socialmonials just in case I forget about them during the product review. Now just to let you know, I did also forget to mention you can get started with Socialmonials 100% for free. There's a 14 day free trial. You don't need a credit card or anything. So go ahead once again, use the link in the description to test it out. So first of all, if you come to the website, if you click on the features, you'll see we've got social publishing as well as user generated content, social media campaigns, share buttons, and social analytics. While that doesn't really give you too much information right now, when I actually dive into it, you'll understand exactly what everything means. Now, one exciting thing I absolutely love about Socialmonials is the incentivized sharing, the sweepstakes and contests, as well as all the different social CRM inside of here. Basically, what it allows you to do is create these viral campaigns that are going to give more exposure to your brand. You're also going to be growing all of your channels, and you also get to create a list, right? It's lead generation at the same time. It's absolutely amazing. And of course, incentivizing referrals is always an amazing way to get friends of friends because they're usually better traffic. Traffic. And if we go down a little bit further, you'll also notice you get all of the other social media tools you could ever need. You've got queuing, scheduling, traffic tracking. You've also got your own branding and the link shortening, which allows tracking, which is really cool. And that's basically Socialmonials. Now, just before we get into it, I will also go through the different pricing. Once again, there is a 14-day trial, but if you want to check it out on the monthly plan, you can get Social Social Pro, which allows you to have 10 social profiles, 10 RSS feeds, and you can actually have unlimited scheduling, right? So unlimited scheduling. But as well as that, you also get analytics. You also get all of these other bits and pieces as well. One million stock photos if you've got quite a generic brand. You've also got the social CRM share buttons and the mobile app, which is amazing. Now, if you go to the social and campaigns, which is probably gonna be the most uh, commonly used plan as it has all of the different campaigns that you can use inside of it, this is where you can create all the viral giveaways. You can also add an email autoresponders as well as all of these different types of contests, coupons, and all of that other sort of good stuff, right? So this is where all the magic's really gonna happen. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, show you what it looks like inside of this campaign. I've actually signed up to the enterprise on a 14 day trial, so I'll show you what that looks like. Um, and that's also gonna include a couple of things like the custom domain, the funnel series, and all of these other things. I like to see all of the features. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually jump behind my dashboard and show you social manuals. Okay, so here we are on the Socialmonials dashboard and if you first get started with it, you are going to have an onboarding sequence. Um, basically, it's gonna show you how you can actually get started, integrate your account so everything is inside of here and also there's loads of different information about the platform. If you wanna actually go through that again, if you've turned it off, you can also flick it on here on the right. You can see we've got guide. Um, but first of all, what I'm gonna do is give you a bit of a quick tour of Socialmonials and then get stuck into the features. Now on the left is all of the different features we can have. We've got publish, calendar reports, campaigns, approved share buttons and social CRM. So I'll go through those in a moment. Then up the top, we have here at the top right, your uh, account settings. And what I recommend you do actually to start with is go to your workspace preferences because inside of here you can adjust a few things. Now, once again, if you want to add social media uh, accounts later on, you can do so inside of here. Simply click on add account and then add in the different account that you want to use. I've already connected um, four different accounts here. That's what I'm going to be using for this particular one. 
Next, we also have here, I should mention that we have a, uh, a temporary link to send to your clients to add their social media accounts. So basically, if I go to this link here to show you what it looks like, if you're managing other clients' social media accounts, you can send them this link. They're going to click on it. It's going to log in their accounts and go directly to your dashboard. So it's really, really easy to actually manage other users. So that's there. Next, we have moderation settings. Now, if you want to moderate other, um, the posts inside of it, if you're working with a team, you can play around with this. I personally don't have a team, so I don't. Analytics integration, it's going to be adding UTM tags to all of your links, which is really cool. You can also add in custom values, um, but I'm going to leave it as it is. We've also got conversion tracking, which I highly recommend you do if you're creating different types of funnels or you're wanting to get people to a certain thing. What I recommend you do is if you're trying to uh, track leads is copy this code, add it into the HTML document inside of your pages where the, uh, the conversion actually is created after the lead's been captured. Same thing with the shopping cart order confirmation. If you want to use that, make sure you use that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then just leave it. It's completely fine. We've also got here email notification preferences and basically what this means is every time someone gets sent an email this is what it's going to look like so make sure you have the right name for either you or your company as well as the right email address you can also have some different case custom html templates if you wish um, but the the standard ones work perfectly as well now you've also got custom uh, campaign domains if you are on one of the higher plans, what it basically means is uh, majority of the time you can use your own social campaign. So mine's philwilson.socialmonials.com or you can add in your own custom domain to make this completely your own. For example, you could put offers.yourdomain.com. So obviously for me, it'd be like offers or promo.legitmarketingreviews.com, something like that. And you can also get a free SSL. Now there's also the ability to white label your applications if you are on the right plan. And what it's going to do is if you are trying to get people to log in via say Facebook, when it asks for their details, it's going to have your business name instead of um Socialmonials, it's going to have your branded company name there. And to do that, there is actually some training on it. Um, but what I recommend you do is just go and get the app ID, app secret key, and then that'll teach you all about it. Once again, if you want to follow the instructions, um, you can go to this link here and it's going to show you how to do it. So it's really easy to do. So that is the uh, the sort of setup phase. There's also the agency dashboard. I'll also show you quickly the integrations because this is where you can connect things to either um, gather emails or you can do things based on certain triggers. So for example, you've got all of these, uh, the standard sort of email marketing like platforms, right? You've got like Moosing, GetResponse, MailerLite, active campaign you've also got a few other ones down there you've also got webhooks which is what i use but unfortunately my webhook is showing there so i can't go down as far as that but that is how you set up the integrations and once you've set them up they're good to go so next let's go ahead and get stuck into the features first of all we're going to start with the publish page now as the name suggests we are dealing with social media posts here but you also have google my business if you want to use that as well but basically it is very straightforward how this works now we've got here publish queue sent drafts schedule import and rss so these two you can actually import posts from your rss feed or you can import them via document but what it basically does, I'll just show you exactly how it works. Let's just say I was to create a post. Let's just say I'm going to write, I've just found, right, found this new tool called Sociomonials, which is pretty epic. You should check it out. All right, let's just say that's the post. And let's just say I wanted to post it, say Facebook, uh, Inst uh, sorry, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. Instagram this is basically what it's going to look like um, and what you can actually do let's just um, take these away so it's not too too busy what you can actually do is add in a link right so let's just say I put in the link for sociomonials.com right what it's actually going to do is once you enter the URL it's going to go ahead and scrape the metadata from that website and add it in the bottom so that's basically what it's going to look like on Twitter it all looks pretty good. It's all ready to go. I can also add in some images if you want. You can use it from your already uploaded um, images or you can upload it yourself. You can also add things like videos. Um, you can play with the text and all that sort of good stuff. But once it's ready to go, you just come down to the bottom. Now you can see there's add to queue. Basically what you can do is just bulk create posts, put them in a queue, and then you can schedule them when you want them to go out or you just leave them until you need it, time for a post. 
or basically you click on the down arrow and you've also got publish now schedule optimal which means it posts at the optimal timing which i'll go through in a moment and also save as draft now just to show you what it looks like i'm going to go ahead and click publish now and if i go ahead and refresh the page you will see that it has been posted and here it is socialmonials ready to go so that is it it's super easy to do and uh, it looks perfect as it exactly looks on it but the amazing thing about it is at the bottom left of the screen if you just have a look now you can see it's not the link i typed in right it's not the https socialmonials.com it's actually a retargeting link so if you go ahead and click on it what it's actually going to do is actually track that click from the website right so i'll show you what i mean in a second but basically what it's going to allow you to do is track how many people are actually clicking on your campaigns and you can actually see the results of all of your efforts inside of social manuals in the reports campaign so i'll skip calendar quickly but show you what it does so as you can see um this is the link i've just posted and as i've posted it it's appeared here right it looks like some people are already clicking on it whoops um but you can see how many people are clicking on your campaigns and this actually you can either isolate which one you want to see the results from or you can click all of them and you can see how your campaigns are going now for this particular campaign it's a website click but you can also see how many people are engaging with it and there's also the conversion tracking pixel which i showed you a little bit earlier if you set that up you can see how many conversions you're getting also comments likes favorites shares retweets and later on when you go through things like uh different uh options you have also leads sales revenue and also google my business clicks now i'll show you quickly the calendar and i'll come back to reports reports is quite big so once you've actually posted you can see in here which or how your posts have been like these are in the past now so you can see they've been posted i've been doing a lot um, just before this video actually published but once you start scheduling you can see everything filling up inside your calendar nicely so it's actually uh going to be quite filled if you've been spending a little bit of time on it so it's really cool because it, you can see things for a long time to go ahead and you can also create things like reminders so let's just say i wanted to create a reminder for tomorrow just click on it and you can create a reminder you can choose a different icon and you can also write some text in here so this could be um, send out email swipe for latest posts right let's just say i want to do that click on save and as you can see it's going to go ahead and set up a reminder and give you a notification so it's really cool so next i'm actually going to show you campaigns and then we'll go to reports after that reason being is i want to show you what campaigns actually are now as you can see i've been playing around with this and this is a very very amazing part of social manuals um, what it's going to allow you to do is create things like viral giveaways sweepstakes you can create competitions you can also just create normal forms and you can also create funnels using these particular components so first of all i'll show you the different types of pages and campaigns we can actually create and these campaigns are absolutely amazing for growing your audience getting your reach bigger and bigger as well as gathering leads and i have to admit i've actually been a participant in so many different types of giveaways this year because people are just raising the bar and what they're actually giving away and i can't help myself i just have to join these campaigns so if we come through here you can see we've got different types of campaigns we've got referral campaigns we've got engagement campaigns photo campaigns video campaigns contest sweepstakes gallery testimonial sign up coupon and viral basically what you want to do if you want to go for a certain type of campaign you want to use pre-made ones you can also start from scratch it is going to take a little bit longer um, i always like to use what's already there it just saves time let's just say i wanted to create a uh, a coupon uh, sort of giveaway what you can do is just click on coupon and it's going to show you all these pages now let's just say you wanted to add a referral aspect for it um, you can also add in referral and it's going to go ahead and narrow down your search once again you can go through choose different ones and you can see it changes to do um, it changes to show you what components are in different pages so the main purpose of these are to a grow your email list but also b grow all of your other channels and you can even uh, grow engagement on your posts this is also perfect if you're collaborating with other people for a giveaway because you can grow their channels grow your channels it's a win-win for everyone so what I'm gonna do is show you a quick preview of what it actually looks like and then I'll show you all of the components you can actually add into one of these giveaways so I'm gonna show you first of all a preview of this page uh, it's gonna go ahead and pop something up so we can see the entire page so what I'm gonna do is you can see we've got two options to actually enter we can either continue with Facebook or use uh, email and name so I'm just gonna go ahead and put um, just some just demo data 
And basically this is what it's going to look like. So we haven't entered any other ways that you can get points. So it's just going to go back to the standard uh, share your tracks link and earn 20 points for each person that refers. And here you've actually got a unique link for each person, right? So it creates a different version of this link for each and every person that joins. And each time someone actually joins, it's going to add their rank. And they can go ahead and log in also and check how their points are going. And on the right, we also have here a leaderboard. As you can see at the moment, I'm ranked number two with one point. This is all just demo data, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. But as the points start collecting up, it's going to end up at the top, which is really cool. Now it says here all points are subject to verification and I'll show you about that in a second. Uh, but that's the demonstration of what it looks like. So let's go ahead and use this template. Once again, there's so many different ones that you can use and um, you can also edit it and everything like that. So let's go ahead, edit it. The first step we actually want to do um, is actually the settings. So we want to name the campaign. This is for our back end um, of our dashboard so we understand what it is. So this could be the, um, let's just say it's the June 1st giveaway, right? Or the June giveaway, I should say. And you can put in some rules and a disclaimer if you wish. You just click on that um, and put in the rules. You can also choose how you want people to sign up. So if you want people to have a Facebook option to sign up, like you saw in the demonstration, you can do that. Or you can just simply have um, a default form. And a default form is just going to be name and email like you saw earlier. You can also edit it if you wish and create a new one. So you can add in all these different things like, you know, job title, all that sort of stuff on the left. You can just drag them in as you wish and move them around as you please, like so, right? And then you can go ahead and click save once you're done, all right? So uh, I got to enter a name, so this can just be a name, just for a demo, just to show you how that works. Now, if you want to add an integration as well, once again, at the beginning when I showed you the integrations, you just want to make sure those are there. So for me, I'd go ahead and choose Webhook, and now it is ready to go. Next is email notifications. So if you want to actually send people an email after they have um, entered the sweepstakes or the, the submission, I should say, you can go ahead and do that by clicking on Edit. And inside this page, you can see who it is from, what your name's going to show up like, and then you can enter in the different information inside of it. And it's going to redirect them back to the uh, the giveaway page where you can they can earn more points. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And then it's also got, if we come down, um, how often the winners are selected for this campaign. So if you want to have weekly campaigns, uh, monthly campaigns, things like that, you can choose them inside of here. We've also got here the start time date. So if you want it to start now, if you want to start it later, you can do so there. Um, we've also got different things like confetti. Each time someone uh, finishes one of the tasks, which once again are in the next step, uh, it's going to rain confetti. I'll show you what that looks like in a bit. There's also leaderboard if you want to turn it off and on. There's also prize lift if you want to prize list if you want to add that in. You can um, give away some prizes, and you can also have things like points. How many people? Uh, how many points you get for referring friends? Now, and finally, we get down to the fun part, which is where you can actually start uh, adding in growth marketing to your business, right? So let's just say you wanted to get a lot of engagement on a certain post or a certain tweet, or if you want people to retweet something or upload a video, upload a photo, you can really get creative to how you want to actually get people to engage with your competition. So let's just say, for example, I want to share, I want them to share a tweet. Um, so let's just say the label can be tweet a coupon. That's fine. The tweet could be um, make sure you check out legitmarketingreviews.com. It's epic, right? Let's just say that and they can earn 20 points or they can earn 50 points. It doesn't really matter. You can decide um, and you can change the color of the icons and everything. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually going to copy that because I might uh, do it to a few things. So let's just say you want to visit a page. Let's just say I want them to actually visit my website. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Visit our website. You can get 10 points for that. Um, so that's pretty cool. What else can they do? They can join our Facebook group. So let's just say it's the Facebook group. Come down here. Type in your Facebook group URL. So depending on what your Facebook group URL is, it's something like... Um, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash and then your group name so you could do that i'll just put facebook just to show you what it looks like and then it's going to ask uh, what is your facebook username to verify and the good thing about this is each time they fill that in um, it is going to give that information to us so we can go ahead and check everything later on now there's loads of other things we can do inside of here this will do for now you obviously get the idea what i'm going to do is go ahead and click continue uh, button text i could say visit the website 
so it'll tell you if something's not quite finished so that's cool now we can actually design the page and inside here it's a really simple editor to use we can just come first of all to like the edit background uh, edit the page background you can see we've got things like the background image we've also got the position background color if we don't want to use the uh, image we've also got things like the header area you can change the sizing it's also um you can edit things live as well right so if i wanted to call this the lma comp competition you know you can change everything like that it's got a timer it's going to adjust to when your end date of your competition is and then we've got everything here uh, most of the time you don't really need to edit too much but everything's here if you need to and then once they've actually entered there is the thank you screen you can also play with things inside of here as well you know change the um the text the height everything like that there's all these there's all this different information there's lots to do uh, everyone's different what they need but to be honest majority of the time just standard is great for actually working it that's why they've created these templates so finally i'm going to go save and continue and then we have got the last step which is um, our code here what we can do is as you can see it's quite a long uh, link so you can go ahead click on shorten now it's nice and short we can copy this post it on different social medias everything like that or you can actually get a qr code which is quite interesting so if you wanted to i don't know print these out and post them around the place so people scan them into the giveaway depending on what your giveaway is for you can do that we've also got widgets so if you wanted to have it iframed into your website and embedded you can do that there's also a sticky tab like on the right of your page it's also a pop-up if you want to use it on a button so it's all really cool you can also add it to your um, tabs on facebook fan page if you wish i don't believe too many people probably look at it but it's all there and then finally you can also publish it to social media if you wish so if you click on this button it's going to go ahead and copy this campaign link and it's going to go and give you um the idea of what it's already going to look like it's going to be shortened once you post it of course but you can also add in the link there like so so that's all good now if i actually go to this link this is live and this is what the campaign looks like so this is the alimar competition like you saw um entered to win the prizes so if i put in here say um john you know smith john smith at um i'll just put legit marketing reviews so some so John Smith doesn't get sent this email and you can have this little checkbox here um, default it comes checked which is good because most people won't uncheck it which means you can actually email them integrate them into lists things like that so if you go ahead click enter you're going to see there's the confetti I was mentioning earlier and it's all rained down and as you can see you can see uh, how many people are alive here so each time someone adds to it you can see the top 10 and here is also the different things that we just talked about right so tweet a coupon so if i click on tweet a coupon you can see here's the tweet if i actually click on tweet it's going to go ahead and publish this tweet to instagram how cool is that right so it's going to go ahead publish it it's been done it's actually been tweeted i've got some more confetti now i've got myself 51 points right it's really cool how it works right and um so that's basically how it works people go through you can add as many as you want i highly recommend adding more because it makes it more competitive for people to win just make sure your prizes are worth it um obviously people want to be uh you know given an incentive to actually do it but once that's done if you actually go down to social crm um, I'm just going to leave this tab. I was just creating a post. You can see John Smith has been put in here. He's a prospect. This is his email address he used. As you can see, I've been playing around with it quite a bit. And if you come into it, you can see what he's been doing, right? So you can see when he was posted, um, if he did a post. So for example, if he posted about a certain topic, you can see uh, all of his followers, fans, friends, all that sort of good stuff. So you can see it. I took it from my personal account. And you can see all of the referred people and everything like that, which is really cool. So referred visits five this prospect that i did earlier was great so it's all really cool so that is campaigns now you can do so many different types of campaigns like i mentioned earlier and once you've created it you can see how many submissions you've got how many views you've had right so it's it's really good to see and you can also type and search once you have so many different ones in here now the plan i'm currently on i can have a hundred thousand submissions so i've got a lot of space to play around with it um, but i'm excited to use it look out for some giveaways now once you've actually created a giveaway we're going to take it one step further and this is where you can actually start creating your funnels now i'm sorry this is a long video but this is a very complex tool so what we can do is create what's called a series and basically what happens here 
is you can choose to actually add in these either the giveaways before or after certain campaigns right so if we were to create a funnel series there's also a scheduled series and a split test series um it's going to take a long time to go through it so i'll just go through the funnel series which is probably going to be the most used one i'm just going to call this the funnel test right for this particular campaign and i'm going to go ahead and choose the june giveaway which i've just created and what this is going to allow you to do is actually uh, link different campaigns together, right? So as you can see here, we can either end the campaign series here, or we can click on display the next campaign in a funnel to the users already enter the campaign above. So basically the people who join the June giveaway, I can also incentivize them to join other campaigns that I've got so I can get more sort of information and more awareness using the exact same people. So you can see here, I can display an arrow at the bottom of the thank you page to load the next campaign. I can also bypass pages if I want to send them immediately to campaigns or if for example you wanted to maybe redirect them somewhere else I know for certain forms of people are requesting information you can redirect them to different pages and this is the link that you would actually use so you'd paste in the link you want people to actually get redirected to it's almost like a, just a standard funnel in that regards but you can play around with this it's going to take a little bit of time for me to actually create enough giveaways so I can link them together but this option is going to be massive because it's just going to make your leads go so much further so that is the uh, series once again i haven't played around with this enough but i know it's such a powerful tool you can also embed them in a sticky tab or a pop-up now quickly before we uh, run out of time it's already been such a long video if we go to the approve uh, tab this is where you can see all of the people that have actually entered your contest so if you request a photo if you ask them to post a photo all the entries will end up here if you ask them to post a video all the entries will end up here if you ask them to write some text it's all going to end up here and if you ask them to post about it and tag you in it's also going to end up here i haven't actually done any of those campaigns so nothing is there yet we've also got what's called the share buttons as you can see, I've already tested this once. Basically, what you can do is add a button and you can call this button, say, I'm just gonna call this YouTube test, link to share. So you can type in a link that you want people to share, right? So I'm gonna put in my website just for now. And you've got the button sort of style inside of here. What you can do also is add in different types of, um, you can add a video or a counter, things like that. But what it's actually going to do, I'm just gonna update the preview so it shows you my website is it's going to allow you to a quick and easy share button that you can actually either embed on your website or share via link so i'll show you what i mean so here it is here we've got the uh the script embedded on the website or in emails or here's the actual link you can just send with the qr code and basically what this is going to allow you to do is just to uh, have a little uh, sort of box here where people can type in a little comment and they can share it onto their own social medias and what it's going to do once again is gather their leads once they share it so it's a really cool little tool um, it's there if you need it as well and then finally we have here social CRM and this is where all of your prospects are going to be as you can see I did one funny one there but this is uh, going to give you all of your information from all of the people that have joined your different campaigns right and you can also uh, use only users that have social shares, but you can also leave it like this. And you can have things like entries and all that. So that's basically social monials. As you can see, it's a massive tool, massive tool. But this is going to help you grow your brand and your business very quickly. So what I'm gonna do right now, jump behind the screen, I just wanna talk about a few extra things. Okay, so that was social monials. Now, as you can see, it is such a powerful tool. Not only can you schedule all of your social media content from social monials, but you can also create these different types of viral giveaways and contests that are actually gonna help grow your list and all of your social presence that's gonna help your business grow. So I absolutely love social monials. I can see myself using this in the near future to actually grow my personal brand. So keep an eye out once again, but that is my social monials review. Once again, if you wanna get started with it, there is a 14 day trial link, link in the description if you wanna help support the channel. But that's the social monials review. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Loads of good videos coming out in the near future, but that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.